Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in, we got a hard hitting, pull no punches, the sugar coating, and rainbows, the sunshine. It's gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. Let's get right on into it. Hey right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors as we head out to Redbud for 4th of July weekend. And it was a barn burner, but we had somebody missing. Jet Lawrence, the Wonder Boy, the Phenom, the Chosen One, the Moto Messiah had an injured thumb. He got the thumb injury bug. Kind of ironic. We had Eli go down. Then we had Cooper Webb go down. And now Jet suffers the thumb bug too. But who was the beneficiary? You guessed it. Chase Sexton. Chase Sexton has the has the green light now to take the championship again. This guy, right place at the right time. This is what you got to be in it to win it, right? So Chase Sexton has to be pretty stoked. Roger, the man, Roger DeCoster, has to be pretty pumped too. As AP, the cowboy, the crowd favorite, jumps on the podium in second. First and second for KTM. How quick the tides can change. And what about factory HRC Honda? They had to be a little bit bummed because they had the ace in the hole. In fact, Hunter was the one with the red plate, not Jet. So they had to be feeling pretty good. Hunter showed speed. He's been even able to run up front. He's even got the Moto win. So he definitely was, Honda was thinking, hey, no problem. We got another Lawrence brother on ice right here. Uh, backup brother ready to rock. But unfortunately, it was a bad weekend for Honda. It went from bad to worse because not only did we not get the Wonder Boy to line up, Hunter Lawrence wasn't able to retain the red play. And once you give that thing up, it's not easy to get it back. Now, one thing, if you're Hunter or even Team Honda, you got to understand Chase's MO. What's Chase's MO? Somehow the dude seems to crash fairly often. Now, he hasn't done it in a while. Last year was much worse. This year, he's cleaned it up quite a bit. And I'm sure all of a sudden, he's liking the KTM a little more now that he's got some winning ways established. But the reality is this. This should be a good one. It's clearly going to probably come down to Hunter and Chase. But if Chase starts to win out, it's going to start to look a little sketchy. Now, Hopefully, the Wonder Boy is back for SMX. That's the plan. But you've got to understand right now, Eli and Cooper Webb have to be chomping at the bit. And even Kenny Boy Kickstart. Kenny's got to be chomping on the bit to get back out there, too, because they have half a chance now, even though they're probably not going to be able to compete with Chase, although it wouldn't surprise me to see these dudes. One of these dudes gets a start and Chase doesn't. There's a good chance Kenny, Eli, even Cooper could end up getting a win here if they decide to jump back in. But it's a perfect time to jump in because you've got the green light, no more a wonder boy. But that's what we got so far. The 450s looking pretty interesting to say the least. Now, let's move over to the 250s. Chance Hymas. Now, he's the one that actually Honda has to be pretty pumped about. Now, the thing is, is that Chance is coming on strong. He rides with the Lawrence brothers all the time. So, you know, there's a, there's a saying, hang with the winners. You're a product of your environment. So it should be no surprise that all of a sudden Chance Hymas now is the guy that's got some momentum. He's looking pretty darn good. Now, He's still a young kid. We'll have to see how this shapes up for the rest of the weekend or the rest of the series. But Danger Boy. Danger Boy Deegs clearly is pretty much his championship to lose. He's got the speed. He's got the consistency. Although I, I'll tell you what, Chance Hymas, I think, will get in there and bang bars with Danger even a little more than maybe like Frenchie, Tom Vial. Tom Vial's got the speed on any given day. He could win. Even a master pool has been looking pretty good. In fact, he's been pro circuits number one guy. He's putting in better finishes than the cook, the kitchen, Levi. Time master pool. Now, 
He's still got to get his fitness up. He kind of faded there a little bit, but he looked pretty strong. If he can get, which I'm sure he can, his endurance up, that dude's willing to fight. Now, will he have anything for danger? Probably not, but you never know. He healed him off for a weight race win. And an overall, last weekend or the weekend before last, he can definitely do it again. Danger Boy had a gnarly second moto get off that somehow television didn't pick it up. How do you not pick up the what the uh, sport's biggest stars, Danger Boy, having that big of a get off or even a get off? How did we miss that? How was that missed? You got drones all over the track. We had to wait until somebody with cell phone footage broke the story. But danger, ha- and there's a bunch of flack going on. There's a flagger standing right there, like a deer in the headlights. It's like, oh, I got this flag in my hand. Maybe I should wave it. Nah, no need for that. The kid's already up and going again. Meanwhile, the other dude who went down, bike's still there at the landing of some big jump. That was ugly. That could have been serious. I saw a post from the general, Brian Deegs, saying, man, this is the worst thing you ever want to see it was when your kid... He's just, there's nothing you can do for him. You're like, hey, I mean, there's nothing you can do. You're powerless. He saw what was about to go down. Danger did a big old car. This kid is tough, man. That kid's like built like a brick house. You got the Wonder Boy who's like built like an alien, like a pure moto alien. Then you got the Deeks. He's kind of getting a little heavy, a little stout. He's growing into his grown-up body. I kind of like this kid on a 450. I think he's going to be able to muscle that thing around and now with the wonder boy actually we don't know what kind of wonder boy we're going to get and i've reported on this before listen friends the wonder boy he could pack it in right now and just collect paychecks i don't know if he necessarily needs to go break all the records anymore he's got forever right off into the sunset money already established now obviously he's going to stay out there and continue to command big contract money But will he be the unbeatable, perfect season chosen one that we saw prior to these injuries all of a sudden? I don't know. That's yet to be seen. There's a good chance he will still, even this dude on his bad day is better than most of the field on their good days. So I don't see the Wonder Boy having any big problems. But the Deegs, the Deegs, I think, when he gets to the 450s, He's going to have something to say about this. Now, his full send attitude. I mean, this will cut. He's got to clean up his stuff. And I know like the crash we just saw wasn't necessarily his fault. But just, you know, you stack up enough falls, eventually they start to add up. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy. wants to see not only went on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. Shark in Fested Red Bud, welcome to the swimming pool. Delivered a lot of drama, a lot of good stuff. Something to kind of look forward to. It went from a humdrum, kind of like, eh, we already know the results of this race, to now it's kind of being broken wide open. Although Chase Sexton now is clearly got the momentum shift shifted to him. Danger Boy, clearly his championship to lose. But will Hymas step up or maybe some of these other Riders, get in there and make it interesting. Quite possibly, but in the meantime, Walty will be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.